Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Tuck Nuts Beginner Stock Talk. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about Tesla stock and the overall stock market. Um, we'll be going about going over talking about why Tesla stock went up today, um, what potentially what potentially could happen for Tesla stock and the overall stock market moving forward. Um, we got some in, uh, important inflation data coming out this week. And uh, we have the Elon Musk Twitter deal and what could potentially happen with that and how that can affect Tesla stock. So with that, Tesla stock closed at $714.69. It was up 1.6%, which is $11 and something cents. Uh, the overall stock market did edge a little higher. Um, we did have the Amazon stock split happen today, uh, 20 uh, shares for one. Uh, so that brought Amazon down to like $120 or so. Um, and so how can that affect Google stock and Tesla stock? And so we'll figure that out. We won't figure it out, but we'll talk about it later on. Um, we have some Tesla news that came out today from Barron's uh, saying Tesla stock jumped. Elon may back away from its Twitter deal. So basically it's still shaky. Um, Elon Musk is taking action about this. He's planning to back away from his deal and he already filed this with the SEC. So later on, we're gonna watch a video about more description about this deal the, between Jim Cramer and this other guy that I don't know his name, but it's all good. Positive news is there's been a huge demand in China for EVs. And so that was um, really good. Uh, on a side note, there are some co Chinese companies, if you don't know them, the, uh, there's Li Auto, there's uh, Neo, and there's Xpev. Xpev, Kathy Woods has some shares in. And um, I believe that those Chinese stocks will do very well this summer um, compared to other stocks. But getting back to this, it's good news because the demand for EVs in China has gone up in May. And so basically, I'm gonna read some part, some part of this. Bear with me, it's cool. We, we got some bad numbers when it comes to deliveries because of the lockdown in China. But we got the report that EV interest has gone up 38%. Um, we thought that the lockdown had some massive impact on the production delivery number. But it didn't. So... There's more positive, this, this is positive news that we're getting right now. Um, it's not you know, great, but it's good. Um, price action, we talked about last week, uh, $700 being the level, and we're still above that level of $700. Um, Amazon uh, was today at its split, hundred and one dollars and it went up to a hundred and twenty four dollars uh, Google uh, over the few months went from two thousand forty four to two thousand three hundred and forty dollars so we'll see if the momentum continues with these stock splits or not um, uh, going higher or not over the next few days and so the overall stock market SPY ticker symbol is $411. So there's your range of the whole market. Some important inflation, inf, inflation data will be coming out on Friday. So that's important, Friday. Also the rake heights coming out soon and that will, that can have a, a some impact on the overall stock market too. So um, shaky week again, Twitter uh, was $35 at some time and now it's $39, $4 difference. 
Um, it's very volatile and very risky. So I would not like dab into that. But you know, what am I? A beginner stock investor, that's it. And so we're gonna watch this video right now and then I'll get back into what the price points are for the tomorrow, okay? people that I certainly rely on to court, uh, to go into court. I think it's it's simply as simple as that. You can see what's happening to Twitter's share price. Um, and it comes down to this. You know, he has, of course, as we know, uh, made a significant case about the fact that he wants more evidence about the number of fake accounts on the platform. Um, seems to maintain that it is far above, potentially, Twitter's estimates previously, estimates it has shared, by the way, in its public filings for years, and says uh, in the 13D, their latest offer to simply provide additional details regarding its own testing methodologies, whether through written materials or verbal explanations, is tantamount to refusing Mr. Musk's data requests, Twitter's effort to characterize it otherwise, merely an attempt to obfuscate and confuse the issue. Mr. Musk has made it clear he does not believe the company's lax testing methodologies are adequate. So he must conduct his own analysis and he needs the data requested in order to do so. He's not getting it. And uh, Jim, as I said, they seem to be getting closer and closer to court because, of course, he believes this is a cl clear material breach of Twitter's obligations under the merger agreement. I have to tell you, David, there are many people at Twitter who say, Twitter, who say, look, he spent a lot of time looking at this. He was satisfied. Uh, and suddenly he's not satisfied. That's the kind of thing that in court, in a real court, will matter. And uh, David, specific performance, maybe we should explain that to people, but that would compel uh, Elon Musk to buy the company. Uh, maybe this is all to get away from specific performance, David. Does it have a leg to stand on? I, it's unclear to me that it does. Remember, he waived uh, due diligence. That was his choice. He waived business due diligence in order to get the deal done very quickly, uh, and he did. And so he was relying, prior to signing that deal and the NDAs that came along with it, he was relying on public information. Um, now, clearly, he has plenty of data analysts at his disposal. Uh, and one would expect that they are telling him something very different than what Twitter tells the world in terms of the number of fake bot spam accounts on the platform, Jim. I don't know what that number is. He clearly wants to know it. He was not able to ascertain it based on public information because he waived due diligence. And if they get to court, he's going to have to prove that this is a breach. Um, it could be very difficult for him to do in Delaware. But that would seem to be what he is setting out to pursue right now. Well, look, I, I, I think when you think about what's going to happen, a lot of the things that have happened to Elon that we hear about are with the SEC, which is civil. Uh, this will be civil, too, but there'll be a judge. There'll be an actual process. And I think that it won't be done in the court of public opinion anymore. So, David, I mean, it's entirely possible as flamboyant and as exciting and as great as, as Elon has been with manufacturing, uh, in a court, it, it, his buoyant personality won't play toward him. David, I, I look, I, I think no. that we're going to hear about this forever. And we're going to get a lot more Elon we fatigue. Are, although forever's forever's coming quickly, because remember on Friday we talked about this, Jim. They've already gotten Hart Scott. They passed it. There's not going right. to be a second request. The antitrust review here is done or is not is 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 not going to take long uh so you could see a vote on this deal in within a couple of months so it's going to play out pretty soon and the next step you know i've asked this question many times already which is why isn't musk already in breach of the merger agreement since he's clearly Thank not you. using his reasonable reasonable best efforts as he's obligated to do to get the deal done but there's been a choice made on the twitter board not to push this not to sue him at this point, sort of take the offensive, so to speak. But one it would expect is... it will end up in Delaware court. Now, to your point, and it's important when you brought up about specific performance, that is on the equity. In other words, he is obligated under his contract to come up with the money, the equity. There is one out for him, and that's the financing for Morgan Stanley. Uh, if that were to go away for some reason, 
No reason that you can think of right now. That would be a bad news for Elon. Um, but I don't really see that happening. Morgan Stanley will back him. Other than that, China will back him for sure. Um, if he needs money. And so at this point, if you like this video, go ahead and push the like button. And uh, if you like these videos, you could subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, it really helps out the channel. And I really appreciate the 204th person that jumped on today. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. And so Tesla stock moving forward tomorrow, we could expect some form of a rally or a consolidation to happen. Um, Tesla has been making lower highs and going higher and higher, but they're still and still staying above 700 price point level. However, if the momentum continues with Amazon stock split news, any news that comes out, um, uh, we could see, this is a good, however, Tesla go up to 720 to 730. Maybe even on Tucker's note, to $750. Uh, that's my last, that's like the final, $746. Um, that's just my thought. Um, but we have some form, we might see some form of a pop, boom, and then that probably means it goes down. But because if Elon, this is important, uh, we might see some form of a pop because if Elon does not acquire Twitter, Tesla investors are more optimistic about Tesla because in a way, in a way, this Tesla stock is being used as collateral when it comes to Elon Musk acquiring Twitter. So if there's any big surprises like we had last week when Elon Musk said I have a bad feeling about the stock market that will be a problem and that can shake up the market and so um, uh, it's just very right now so um, I just tread light have faith in whatever company that you're in and um, believe in it and know that whatever price you have at it, it could come back up. It may come up, it might take some time, it might not, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later, good night.